What's going on YouTube, GSNorite here. In today's video we have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 16. A brand new vulnerability was released and this one is not even patched by Apple yet, which means it supports all devices on the latest version. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIMLock and even remove the screen time passcode if you forgot them. Definitely check the program out in the link below, especially if you have a hand-me-down device or a second-hand one. So a couple of days ago, back on February 13th, the Project Zero Bugs posted quote X in new use after free due to insufficient locking in app call worker threads. So this one is a bug published by Google Project Zero, particularly Ned Williamson as I can see from here, and it only seems to be surfacing now. However, this vulnerability was not closed like they normally are on Google Project Zero. It was closed because deadline was exceeded, so it was automatically de-restricted. What this means is that this was reported and the severity is high, as you can see here, it's not just a puny exploit or something that does nothing, it does have high severity over here, but Apple did not patch it yet. This means that as of iOS 16.3.1 and iOS 16.3, which are currently the latest signed iOS versions, this vulnerability is currently available, so they are vulnerable to this over here. So this is basically everything related to this vulnerability, and a lot of people ask me if this could be used for jailbreak purposes. From the description, it appears that it targets the iOS kernel, XNU, so it says use after free due to insufficient locking in app call worker threads. Now I analyze a bit the information available and it appears that this could potentially be used in order to run arbitrary code. Now at this moment it's not clear how powerful this vulnerability is, there is no exploit available, just a crash log available over here. Now this could in theory be usable for jailbreak purposes in the future, we would have to see exactly what's going on with this vulnerability. I have no idea why Apple did not patch it yet. Google Project Zero gave them 90 days disclosure deadline in order for them to patch it, however they failed to patch it and as such it's now been automatically de-restricted. However, if I'm right, this could be usable for jailbreak purposes in the future, especially since this probably works with the newer devices as well, like iPhone 13, 12, 11 and so on. A lot of you sent me a link to it and asked me about it, if it could be useful. We don't know for the moment how useful it is. It could be useful, especially since it's a kernel vulnerability, but I guess we will have to wait for Apple to patch it and for exploits to surface. But yeah, keep an eye on it in the future. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.